is Sebastian Bach, and you're watching Headbangers Ball, but you want to know what? We're going to like go off the beaten trail a little bit right here, and we're going to play you a, just a little bit of a preview from next week's show, which is the Donington Special. And here is a little preview of some live excerpts from the killerest show of all year in England, Castle Donington. Here it is. So many know? people in the arena at like 11.30 in yeah, the morning. It was, packed, it was killer, man. I mean, I didn't know. I know I wouldn't be up at 11 o'clock. I don't care who's playing, you know. But obviously they showed up, so thanks a lot for coming, man. stage at Donington in front of Lord knows how many people. How did it go? It went really, really well. We're happy to be here and I think it went as well as we could have expected. It's like not even the crack of noon for us. <laughs> this is not even, I haven't even had a bit. It's a bit I know, I was going to say, it's a bit early for you guys. I know, we're, we're kind of used to the dark. But it's, you wear shades. This is not to be a rock star. This is very necessary. You, you don't want to see behind here. <laughs> <laughs> How did it go today? Because unfortunately, Chris is still not very well. Is that right? Yeah, that's that's right. He's at home uh, tending to an uh, illness that he had that sent him home from Japan. But um, I mean, we we had Walter come out to Australia with us, and he came through like a champ then. And today he came through like Mike Tyson. <laughs> How the new songs actually worked out in the live environment? Oh, I mean, they worked out great. I mean, a lot of the songs for the new record we wrote with playing live in mind because we toured so much on the last record and we knew we would do it again that that's what we were thinking when we were writing and recording. So they worked, you know, perfect. All things considered, on this tour, we've done all kinds of different, like, venues, different size venues. The main thing was just to be, get back into a club situation, but it's also nice to go up and, and like, be an opening band and just go up and do a festival. You know, one-offs, like here and there, you know? And you just sort of go up sort of loose and just jam and see what happens. Excellent. You know, it, basically it's all about taking your chances and just having a good time.
We're in the middle of recording a new album. <laughs> and uh, it's mostly uh, punk covers because we want to stay busy and there's a lot of, uh, stop that, too silly. <laughs> we wanted to stay busy and it's a lot easier and quicker for us to do something like that than to put together a Slayer record because we're so particular and it takes forever for us to be happy with the songs we write. We're you know. somewhat, somewhat a perfectionist when it comes down to stuff. Because seriously, a song could be complete and we don't like it, it gets tough. played England since the Astoria which was a great show but we wanted to make it special when we came back mm -hmm. so when Metallica called us up to do Castle Donington we were like uh yeah <laughs> and it sets us up great for our, our headline tour coming in uh, November <laughs> I think the best thing is everyone's up for it. It's a Saturday night. There's like so many people out to have a good time. Just go on and do what you do best. We have 50 minutes tonight, so we're just going to play all our, our favorite songs and oh, enjoy ourselves. Just, yeah. Brilliant. A lot of fun. So, I mean, on Infernal Love, you've had a slightly different um, touring policy. Yeah. Because um, I remember you saying last year that you'd played like every field around yeah. Europe. Now, are you kind of um, saving the, the build up to um, a European tour later in the year? Yeah, we're going over. We're going out in October. And what we want to do is because there's strings and like other instruments on it. We want to be able to play for a bit longer than right. usual. I mean, it'll be our own theater shows, and we want to like do, do our own set, bring on like Martin and Cello, and like just make it a bit more atmospheric, and then just end it with all the singles and things like that. So it's more of a show for everybody, because we've got uh, five albums worth of material now to draw from. So, and a lot of people want to hear a lot of the old stuff as well as the new stuff. <laughs> getting too silly here that five you know we've played here fourth this is our fourth time it, ten years ago today was the first time we were to be able to come back and and headline this thing and put our own show together and so on it's it's really amazing and it just means a lot to us no bullshit mm -hmm. 